Coming to you live from the world famous comedy store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Fuck yeah, everybody. We're here. Make some noise. Come on. What's happening? Brian Redband is here. Hi. The great Ryan J. Ebelt is sitting right there already beginning his drawing of tonight's episode. He draws every episode and all the crazy posters that... Uh, that follow us all around the world. All of those prints are available at RyanJBelt.com, including the brand new Kill Tony the Book, the yeah. uh, book that has every print that's ever happened since the beginning of this show. Ryan's been drawing it all, so get that at RyanJBelt.com. It's good to be here on a beautiful Monday. We had the weekend off of the road. We were in town, but uh, it changes all this week. We go to Dallas, Texas, where we just added a second Kill Tony show to the one that already sold out. That's going to be um, this Saturday. And four stand-up shows uh, following that in Dallas this weekend. And then uh, we go to Sacramento the 16th and 17th, but those shows are sold out. And uh, Kill Tony Mania in San Francisco, October 18th and 19th. few tickets still available there. And uh, then Australia, Brisbane, Melbourne, and Sydney for the first time ever. Three gigantic Kill Tony episodes live from Australia, November 7th, Washington, D.C., uh, and that also has four huge stand-up shows where I headline and you get to see all your favorite Kill Tony cast members do stand-up comedy uh, before me. We're also here every single Monday at the Comedy Store. We return every single week, even Australia. We fly out Tuesday morning. We come back Monday morning. We are here for you. Comedians, how are you guys feeling tonight? Good? I was ready. This bucket is packed tight tonight. Next week, a fun fact for you massive Kill Tony fans, we have an amazing uh, lineup of guests. I'm just going to spill the beans right here. It's the great Luis J. Gomez and the Count Michael Bisping, ladies and gentlemen. UFC heavyweight, well, actually uh, light heavyweight, middleweight, that's what I meant, middleweight champion of the world. Don't want to mess that up. He might beat the shit out of me. Huh? The Kill Tony the Band calendar is available now, and they are also doing their own stand-up comedy show at the San Diego Comedy Palace December 6th. So here we go. This is very exciting stuff. We are doing the road a lot. It's exhausting out there. We're getting older. Did you know that 66% of men lose their hair by age 35? That's the age that I am right now, 66% of men. Once you've noticed thinning hair, it can be too late. Thank goodness for 4 a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. Yeah, it's great. They have shampoos. They have all this stuff. You get this kit. You don't even have to go to, like a lot of times, all these, all, all these medicines, you have to go to a doctor, wait in the waiting room and all that stuff. Now you just answer a couple questions online. And you get real prescription medicine and shampoo. It's great. I've been putting it on my beard as you can tell in the last couple of weeks. Uh, that it, thing is looking <laughs> thicker than Aphrodite. <laughs> well, <on> a... <laughs> she even here? I'm not here. here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. So that's a weird joke if she's not here. But yeah. for him is the coolest thing in the world. You just answer a few quick questions, a doctor reviews, a real doctor, and then they ship it directly to your door. Get the hair loss treatment everyone's talking about. GQ, Men's Health, Esquire, Playboy, just to name a few. And you can order it now. Our listeners can get started with the Hims Complete Hair Kit for just $5 today, right now, while supplies last. See website for full details and safety information. This could cost hundreds if you went to the doctor or a pharmacy Instead, go to forhims.com slash kill Tony. That's F O R H I M S dot com slash kill Tony. Forhims.com slash kill Tony. Yes, indeed. Do it. Get it done. It's a really big deal. Life is a big deal. Working is a big deal. And then sometimes you dream big, you get your own company, right? And hiring can be a slow process. 
Cafe Altura's COO, for example, Dylan Miskowitz, needed to hire a director of coffee for his organic coffee company, but he was having trouble finding qualified applicants. So he switched to ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. It finds them for you. It's technology identifies people with the right experience, invites them to apply to your job. So you get qualified candidates fast. Dylan posted his job on ZipRecruiter, and he said he was so impressed by how quickly he had a great candidate apply. He also used ZipRecruiter's candidate rating feature to filter his application so he could focus on the most relevant ones. And that's how Dylan found his new director of coffee in just a few days. With results like that, it's no wonder four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate with in the first day. See why ZipRecruiter is effective for businesses of all sizes. Try ZipRecruiter for free at our web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash K-I-L-L-T-O-N-Y. ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Are you guys ready to start tonight's episode? We are live, clearly. This is a live podcast, clearly. It just so happens to be the number one live podcast in the world. And every single week, we have two of the funniest comedians on this show. And this week, of course, is no different. It's both of their first times as guests on this show, which is always so exciting to get awesome, new, hilarious faces in here. Well, not that their faces are hilarious, but, you know, their personalities and whatnot. Uh, This week, just an amazing show. Put your hands together for them, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise for Ryan Sickler and Trevor Wallace. Here we go. Hey, Trevor Wallace, Ryan Sickler. This is exciting. Trevor Wallace uh, has a podcast, Stiff Socks. You're touring yes. all over. TrevorWallaceComedy.com. This is your first time on Kill Tony. Are you excited? I'm stoked, man. This is fun. I get to see all my friends bomb tonight. So, hell yeah. Yeah. Dude, I'm stoked, man. And uh, the great Ryan Sickler is here, ladies and gentlemen, the Honeydew uh-huh. Podcast. I just Thank did it uh, a few days ago, and yeah. boy, did we have some fun. Oh my! At your expense. You yeah. really got me to spill the beans. I'll Uh-oh. just say it: if, they, if you if you guys have been watch, uh, listen, you know, if you guys are a real Kill Tony fan, and uh, you have any interest in my life story, I talked about a bunch of fucking shit on Honey Do the. I spilled my entire. Yes, yes, that's exactly it. It's I gu- did it's talk about. I talked about my mafioso upbringing, believe it or not. People always laugh at that. They think it's a joke, uh, but it's real. And, uh, and my, my crazy uh, bastard youth. You called yourself a super bastard. I, I, well, I, was, I was. I was a fucking super duper bastard. I, don't, I, don't, I will tell you, um, I couldn't believe sitting and listening to his story. Basically, can I say just in a nutshell, mm-hmm. his dad lived like eight blocks away <laughs> the whole time yeah the whole time the whole time he put it together because he would pass by on the bus route and say hey mom why the fuck's dad's car at that house all the time i'm the one that found out that my dad lived eight blocks away <laughs> gotta listen to the honeydew podcast oh, right? listen to that episode. it's a crazy fucking thing it's terribly sad it really it is, is. It's a lot of high sad. moments and low moments i will say spoiler sad. alert ryan makes me laugh so hard that i'm afraid it's so funny one part of the show that i'm afraid my mom who stalks me and listens to everything that i do she's 72 I'm afraid she Hi, might have a. Uh, I'm afraid she might have a stroke when she uh, <laughs> hears this one part. Well, of we'll the do. Show. We'll do a part two if she does. Heck yeah, I love it. So uh, we have you guys here, and uh, it's your first time, so you might not know this, gentlemen, but there is a band on this yeah. show. Everyone loves them. They're one of the most beloved things in anywhere in comedy. Uh, they're my favorite, some of my favorite funny human beings. Let's see what happens tonight. Every single week they commit to being different characters. I never know what they're going to be. Sometimes it's a brand new character. Sometimes it's the return of some of their famous characters. Let's find out what they are tonight. It's the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins, Strollberg, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. Oh, boy. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. So dumb. Unbelievably stupid. Wow. We've seen these characters before. This is a uh, very, very special. I knew you came in with extra swagger tonight, Jeremiah. Now it all makes sense. 
because he knows that I hate these characters. Yeah. These are the <laughs> puppeteers, ladies and gentlemen, of all time in the history of the show. These are my second least favorite characters. We had uh, an hour conversation on the way home from Vegas all about how much Tony hated these characters. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It I believe the quote was, never again. Yeah, it's the... It's, it's, they just get so much joy out of fucking with me. Uh, you would think that they would uh, respect the person that gives them a creative forum to shine on. Uh, but uh, no, instead, it's backstabbery. The characters, by the way, it makes the band, if you're, if you're wondering why they're so, so horrible. No, uh, it's because there's basically seven band members now that can interrupt the show at any point. Listen, Tony, I respect you. I don't. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm already... Get ready to cut those microphones at any given point. <laughs> <laughs> the captain is in control of this ship. Uh, so we have the puppeteers. Uh, clearly, what's your name again, lead puppeteer? My name is Gerald Felt. Gerald Felt. Very good. And uh, next to you, who do we got there? What is that? Uh, Hillary Clinton over there? What is that? Hey, Tony, my name is Stan Dusky. Oh. I do specialize in all children's parties. Wow. Birthday parties, bar mitzvahs. Stan Dusky, and then clearly back here, wow, we have, uh, what is this, the Geico Caveman? <laughs> 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 the name's Vin, Tony, Ventriloquy. Ventriloquy, yeah. wow. And uh, this is my, bu hey, I'm Caesar, fool. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. My name's I Caesar, dog, what's up, eh? My goodness. I'm a puppet, homie. I can't believe, I can't believe your, one of your puppets talks in your normal voice, Joel. Uh, <laughs> that's incredible. So we have the puppeteers. Art imitates life, Tony. There you go. We have the puppeteers. We have Sickler. We have Trevor Wallace. We have Brian's big crazy soundboard. We have the thousands watching live on YouTube right now, which brings me to this, the bucket of destiny, everyone, what the show's really all about. Over 100 uh, comedians signed up for the chance to get pulled out of this bucket today. They're all over there. And uh, if I pull your name out, you should know how it works. You get 60 seconds uninterrupted to do stand-up comedy on this stage. You know your time's up and you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the West Hollywood bear. And then I interview you. I talk about you, about uh, your life, and we figure out more stuff about what makes you different and special. Are you guys ready to start this show? Guys, it's Monday night. Most people are watching some horrible football game right now. You're at the world famous comedy store at the number one live podcast in the world. Are you guys ready to start this fucking show? There we go. Good enough for me. And the show will begin with 60 seconds uninterrupted by a man that goes by the name of Jose Raymond. Here we go. Here comes Jose, live at the Comedy Store. One more time for Jose, everybody. Hey, what up, Hollywood? How you doing? Good? Yeah. Good, man. I'm good, too. I'm all right now as an adult because I grew up in a rough neighborhood here in L.A. called Watts. You guys familiar with this place? And like everybody, don't yell, motherfuckers, not dizzy, man. It's fucking Watts and shit. <laughs> was rough. Number one rule of my parents was stay in the fucking house because outside was dangerous. So what I used to always do is watch TV. And growing up, I used to really believe and think that Latinos and black people were the only criminals. Because that's all I saw on TV. That's all I saw in my neighborhood. And I'm watching on TV and I used to think that white people were fucking amazing. Like white people had no problems. Because what am I watching on TV? Full House? Seven Heaven? Now with comedy, I got to travel the, the country a little bit and I realized that white people, you guys are fucked up too. <laughs> Fucking liars, there's poor white people. Like, I didn't know that white people had projects. You motherfuckers got projects, they just call it trailer parks. <laughs> only difference between white people projects and our projects is that you guys can move your shit when the rent is due. That's the only difference. <laughs> That's my name, guys. Fuck yeah, that's it. He did it. Jose Raymond. I like your style. Look at you, right into the perfect position. You know I'm exactly how this shit works. Exactly, we right here, even. Have you been on What's this show up? before, Jose? No, sir. I was called once when I wasn't here. I don't know who the fuck oh, put my name man. in the man. Hell yeah. Well, welcome, but, welcome, dude. Yeah. Thank you, you for having you me. You are a real uh, Latino from Los Angeles. 
hundred percent. Hundred. Oh, I can tell. One hundred percent, indeed. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you look like you came out of the womb in a Dodgers jersey. It is no Dodgers. I love this fool. No Dodgers. That would be saying that you came out with the KKK uniform, but that's that's not the same thing. KKK exactly. uniform. Well, I, I mean, that's they, the, same the first shit. thing they do is wrap you in a white sheet. So yeah. I mean, uh, that's, exactly. Uh, it's pretty much on my ride. They knew your color, huh? Hell yeah. yeah. I like your style, dude. Uh, I can't tell whether you're 23 or 54, but pick, uh, pick a number. I'm whatever you want to <laughs> be. Pick a number. What are you a magician? <laughs> Man, Come to you watch, you might disappear, motherfucker. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's okay. I won't go to watch. Exactly. Learn this, learn this shit. Hell yeah. Is there even a free, is there a freeway that goes through there? Nah, don't go there. If it's not on your map, the don't blue go line goes through there, though. Don't oh, okay, there. yeah. Wow. I like your style, man. So you have, up, the, man? you have some real fucking tats on your arms. You ever yeah. been to prison? Never. 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 You ever get arrested? Never. Never? Never. Nothing? Not even nah, a public I, urination? Like, what happened? I, I got moved from the hood. Yeah. When I was 17, I got moved to Hawaii to the island of Maui. You familiar? Wow, hell yeah. yeah. I know. So. I've heard of Hawaii, oh, yes. Yeah? <laughs> I was so you're Hawaiian, dude. I don't know if you was... I don't know. I don't want to judge you by being white. I don't know if you, you, know, you got money or not. I don't know if you're from the hood or not. Jesus, man. First so. of all, if you I listen know. to the Honeydew podcast, you would know, <laughs> yes, I am from the hood, and I was raised well, I'm, I'm surprisingly you know poor. We it turns out it turns out that the mafia in uh, in the early '90s wasn't as uh, profitable as it sometimes appears on uh, TV. So yeah, man, I'm just it's like good. you, Jose. Let's fucking go do some getting some trouble or something. Let's do it, man. Nah, let's do some shows. Let's talk about some shows. Let's do that. You want to do shows? Yeah, together? I'll be in uh, in Oakland on October 19th. I know you said something earlier that you're in October the Bay, San Francisco. October 19th. Let's see. Let's so let's talk some about some money. Fuck, it's trouble. Let's talk about. Uh, <laughs> nothing's gonna pay. Yeah, you should. Uh, yeah, you should definitely swing so, by. Yeah, uh, I'll wear my Dodgers jersey. You there? <laughs> what do you mean? You're gonna go shirtless? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't I don't cause I don't know you, but I don't know. Are you gay or not? I don't know. I don't. No. I, mean, I don't know. Jesus. Normally, when people are you tired ask of seeing this motherfucker naked in the back? So you want to see another Mexican? Then. You're Beto welcome. Beto in the crowd right now. You don't remember wow. Beto? I've never got hit on this hard never? during uh, an episode of this show. Yo, you gay or not? Cause I will make you gay right fucking now. We aim to please, dog. Hell yeah. Dude. Aloha, fucker. <laughs> Welcome to Hawaii, puto. It's a Aloha, dog. It's dog. Yeah. It's dog. We this grew up in wants, Watts. Remember that. Now East LA. Now East LA Watts. This guy wants to get off. Grape Street, Aloha homie. Aloha, Aloha dog. Say, you, ever, you ever said dog before? See what? Dog the bounty hunter? <laughs> oh, not that much. My God. What do you guys yeah. think about this guy? This is Trevor Wallace and uh, Ryan Sickler's first time on the show. You ever seen What's anybody? up, Trevor? What's up? Dude, Brian? you're like, you're funny as fuck and you're dope, but like, you already got booked. Then you're like, yo, are you gay? It's like, yo, you already got booked. <laughs> Like, I gotta know who down, the fuck man. I'm gonna do shows. I didn't even get a show out of this, you know. And you're like, "Are you gay, bro?" <laughs> Can't yeah. lie, man. I'm straight up. I, what can I tell you? Hell straight yeah. up. What's up? <laughs> Are you still asking me? You want an answer? I was waiting for the show. That's what I'm waiting for. You're, we're, you're we're doing genuinely shows, curious. No, not I, uh, about the gay shit, man. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I feel like about, a little bit about the gay shit, though. Yeah, a little bit, like I feel like a lot about the gay shit. Yeah, you, like, yeah, you should yeah. sign up for. Uh, well, know, you should sign up for any one of those Kiltonies. You can come to Sacramento. You can come to San Francisco. The comedians just hang out in the lobby and wait to see if their name gets pulled out. Cool, man. I'll be right there. It's probably like uh, you know. There's probably like fucking hundred comedians in a room. You know what I mean? So it's probably a lot like uh, your childhood where you grew up. So you know what I mean? <laughs> Bunch of people slammed into a room, sweating. Not like that, motherfucker. Ryan Sickler, what do you think about this guy? What's up, Ryan? Uh, I think you were. I think you were really good, and oh, thank um, you, man. Thank I really you. do. I thought you were good. You have Appreciate some stage it. presence. You had confidence about yourself. You're a little overconfident about Watts. You misjudge. It. I'm from Baltimore. Watts doesn't scare me one no. fucking bit. I was. I was. I was trying Not to scare bit. you, motherfucker. I'm just letting you know. Don't know your too. audience and. Know your audience. No, I don't you, pander. You, that's the one thing I'm not going to do. I just do. I'll be me. No, I'm not Everywhere. talking about. See, that's the difference between pandering to an audience and knowing your audience are two completely different things. You'll learn that as you go. But thank you me, finished thank really you. strong. Thank you. And you knew when to get off and you nailed it. I think you did a great job. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Fuck yeah. Look at that. How about the. Uh, how about the <laughs> what do you got back there? I got an honest question, fool. Uh, what up, what up, dog? What was oh. it like being the only cholo with a surfboard? <laughs> Damn. It, was, it was crazy because I didn't have a leash. I didn't know about the leash part. Only on your pit bull, right? Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. So it did. So how long did you spend in Hawaii? 
Nine years, man. Nine yeah. years. And then how long have you been out here? Uh, 2014. So. Wow. What do you do for work? Uh, comedy now. I'm trying to do it full time. You do this full time? Yeah, I'm trying to. Come on, man. What the fuck for else real? do you yeah. do? How do you do it full time? Trying to get more, more than a minute on stage, hopefully next time, but... Just trying to work at it, man. I'll be headlining the Ventura Harbor Comedy Club November 15th. Oh, cool. There you go. Hell yeah. There's a little plug. There you go. Absolutely. I like your style, man. You definitely have a real job that you just don't want to tell us about, right? No, that's, yeah. I'm really trying to do comedy full time. I got like, back from St. Louis yesterday. Yeah, so but like, how long have you been doing this? For like a couple of days? Eight like years now. Eight years you yeah. haven't had a job. You've been relying on comedy. No, no. You're talking about like full time, like trying to do this for the last six months. How about part time so, yeah. jobs? Like, what do you do to like everything? Everything. Man. Oh, everything. Yeah. So you have a lot of jobs. No. <laughs> uh. Every now and then. <laughs> yeah, one of those. I see you at work, motherfucker. Don't be late. <laughs> no, Tony, don't pay your ass, so we good. My goodness. Anything else crazy we should know about you, Jose? Any other nah, man, just hit me up on Instagram. I'm really trying to do stand up comedy for What's real. Your Instagram? Just like you guys. Who's going on? Jose Raymond Comedian. What are you on Instagram? At Jose Raymond Comedian. What is that? At Jose Raymond Comedian. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. At and, Jose uh, Raymond Comedian. Well, then there he goes. It started the guys. show. Jose Raymond, everybody. <laughs> you got to meet him right here. That guy wants to butt fuck me. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yo, Holmes, you fucking gay or what, dude? I want to fucking eat your butt, dude. You ever had your shit pushed in, eh? Yo, yo, I, I never been to prison, but I'll fucking take you to the yard, man. Give me chon chon. <laughs> okay. Your next comedian, 60 seconds uninterrupted, goes to Tyson Pfeiffer, everyone. Tyson Pfeiffer. Back corner. Here we go, the lucky corner. Wow. Here we go. Here he is. One more time for Tyson Pfeiffer, everyone. Oh, what's up, guys? Tyson Pfeiffer. What's up, guys? Um, can we just get rid of the photo filters? Are you with me? Can we get rid of photo filters? No, a few people, five people with me. Uh, we don't need them. There's no reason if you're an adult to ever be disguised as a baby deer. <laughs> Not even if you have a weird hunter fetish. You don't need them. Photo filters are just spanks for your face. <laughs> Not enough laughing here. Too many people wearing spanks. <laughs> it's okay. I hate the photo filters, but I love the spanks. Spanks are great. Any spanks women here tonight? Spanks, spanks women are amazing. They are because they know they have a secret and they can't wait to reveal it to you. <laughs> Recently went on a date with a spanks girl. Right away, she started talk talking that trash. She's like, "You ever been with a curvy girl? Can you handle all these curves?" And I was into it. I let her drive because I'm into the kidnapping fantasy. Whoop. Let, let it. All right. Slow response. It's good. Try it. Don't knock it till you try it. Went back to her place. Oh. Whoop. I'll end it. I'll end it. You guys have been great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, then what, then what happened? Awkward dismount. Very you, awkward dismount. You went back to her place, and then what happened? Let's hear it. Uh, went back to her place. Had a great time. Um... Started making out, I passed out. Middle of the night, I wake up. I had kind of like a, like a wet spot on my chest, right? And I look up, and she's like above me. She's just working it. She's just, you know, she's just double DJ in it, you know, right? And I wake up, open my, eyes, open my eyes, and this girl's Japanese. I'm like, oh shit, she's giving me a Pearl Harbor necklace. Whoa, whoa. Don't finish no? it. Don't okay. finish it. Okay, okay. Don't finish it. I, I did the extremely short version because I didn't want to steal time. What, you did an extremely short version? <laughs> yeah, there's a little more tags on that shit, but really? you, you were generous. Let me finish it, yeah. so I kind of half-assed it. Give it up for Plain Cook. <laughs> plain Cook. Joelberg has arrived. There he goes. He's on fire, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. He's rubbing his cock, everyone. Uh, wow, that was impressive. This is interesting. This is the first time we've ever had Anthony Jeselnik's elbow on the show. This is uh, <laughs> real fun stuff. So Tyson Pfeiffer, yeah. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Dallas, Texas. Brother How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, almost eleven years. Wow, eleven yeah. years. My goodness, that's a long time. It How is. long have you been in LA? Uh, full time, uh, almost three. Full time, almost three yeah. years. I came out, did the fake move. Hung out here for a month or so at a time, uh -huh. and then went back to Texas. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Yeah. And uh, what do you do for work? 
Uh, I do stand up full time and acting commercials. Oh really? Yeah. Any any acting or commercials that we'd recognize you from? Anything like that, like a Lexapro commercial or something like that? Um, no, I was uh, maybe <laughs> NFL season. Do you guys remember that Brett Favre commercial, the Bose commercial, where he walked I, in, put the headphones in, and yeah. the crowd would disappear? Yeah. Yeah, I was one of the uh, people in the you were crowd. One of the, that would, you were one of the uh, disappear. One, yeah. one of the thousands of people in the. No, I wasn't thousands, but you could take yeah, it. Be like, yeah. It wasn't all black crowd, so I do stand out a little <laughs> bit, but <laughs> just because it was Soldier Field. Whoa, Tyson. My goodness. That's a deep reference. Deep right cut, there. yeah, for yeah. no football fans. Hell yeah. Is that true, the story that you said about the uh, Asian girl finger banging herself over you? And um, it's part true, part exaggerated. Yeah. Right, right. So, uh, what's like the true version? Uh, I just had a crazy date with this amazing uh, Japanese girl, and I just kind of so amazing that you fell asleep while making out with her. <laughs> no, I like I said, I kind of like I knew I was out of time, so there was you know I shortened the joke to try and get to that quick punchline. No, for you I'm, guys. I'm not talking about the joke. I'm talking about real life here, Tyson. Oh no! So what? Ha- where'd you meet this girl? Uh, like normal people online. Ah. Yeah. Uh huh. Did she have a Asian screen name or anything like that? No, she didn't. No. <laughs> No. She didn't. So you meet the girl. What'd you guys end up doing? Did you go to eat or something? Uh, we just went out okay, for... Okay, Brian, <laughs> relax. <laughs> practicing his violin. This guy's playing the fucking Asian flute over here. All right, all right, all right. So uh, how does this date start? I always like to get details. I want to know how normal people uh, date. Uh, we started talking on the app, and then we moved to texting. Uh-huh. And then it gets, you know, naughty, you know, the eggplant emoji and all that good stuff. Whoa. Right. My goodness. Uh-huh. And Bro, then, like, oh, and, boy. And then what happens? So you, you meet her and... No, I let her pick me up. Do me a favor. Take half a step Oh, that sorry. Way. That's all you got to do. Right You're right there. Sorry perfect. about that. Wait, I, you I, let her I drive? Over the egg. Yeah, I let her... Yeah. I told you I'm into the fantasy. <laughs> so, so then what? Uh, we went out. We had a good time. And Where'd we you go out to? We went to her place. Uh, just to a bar in Dallas. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, this is a Dallas. Dallas yeah, Asian. Oh, yeah. Spends a, oh, spends a lot of time in that now. book you depository. Guys are, you guys you know are going to be there soon. So. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be there this weekend doing crazy sold out shows. It's going to be so much fun. I'll give you her number. So. Yeah. Oh yes. yeah, we yeah. love sloppy seconds. <laughs> Hell yeah. Brian does. Yeah. I don't. I don't Heck yeah. Fine. He's a human. Uh, <laughs> Trash can. Come on. <laughs> He's a human trash can. Uh, so you, so w- is that the most recent time that you made love to a woman, Tyson? Not the most recent time, no. Y- yeah? Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's you, confirmed. You have a lot. You hook up with a lot of chicks? Um, I can, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Douchey Answers with your host, <laughs> Tyson Pfeiffer. Why does this guy look like a less successful version of Trevor Wallace? <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. You're like his brother that like fell out of the carriage as a kid or something like that. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shorten up this joke real quick. Uh, all right. Hey, yeah, it's 60 seconds is tough. It's Hell tough. Yeah, it is. And I had totally not expected to get called at all. I was like, yeah. yeah. Just no one, no one ever does. That's I know. The, uh, it's, that's why when somebody crushes up here, you got to give them respect. Like, they kill it. It's tough. Absolutely. It really is. And we never know who's coming out of the bucket either. So all of the things that we come up with uh, are all in the moment. Just think about that. <laughs> it's crazy. All these laughs that you see us getting in between. Or <laughs> none of it's like... Something I haven't mentioned in six and a half years of doing this show, but you brought it out of me, Tyson. You made me good. You made me to give that little shout out to us. This is uh, my second time here. Oh, really? Yeah. What happened the first time? Uh, oh, first time I ate shit. It was not good. Oh, wow. Um, Red Band might remember. I, I'm the first comedian ever on American Ninja Warrior. Remember, you looked me up. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. you were on Ninja Warrior. Yeah. Our first comedian ever on to compete wow. on American Ninja Warrior. Did you wear like? Uh, did you wear normal clothes? Like sometimes they have people that wear normal clothes. I did. I wore uh, red pants and a t-shirt that said "Oh my God, Becky," and it was freezing that night in a beanie. And then I went as a character my second season on the show. They're like, "This is the first ever comedian and Ninja Warrior. You're just gonna have to take our word for it." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> comedian. <laughs> Trust us. He's a comedian, folks. Uh, Comedian was in quotations. (laughs) (laughs) 
What do you guys think about Tyson, Ryan, Trevor? Any uh, advice or uh, acknowledgments or anything? It's uh, it's hard to give someone advice about how to do comedy because I think it, it is sub- so subjective. But I will say this. When he asked you if that story was true, the answer to that is yes. The answer to that is yes. You told us it was. You just had us all believe it was, and then you said, nah. That's true. You're right. So the answer to that is yes. Now, I just want to get this straight. You did not wake up with a Japanese girl masturbating over top of you. That didn't happen. Not not a hundred percent. That's an What's a hundred percent mean? What what percentage of the she, of it was, did you get? You thirty percent? Well, she was like, fucking my roommate. It, it was, so <laughs> it was like it's like fifty percent my room, fifty percent. I watched room. my roommate fuck her. So twenty eight percent. Twenty eight percent. It was, uh, it was actually just reversed. He was just jacking off on top of her. <laughs> Whoa, Chroma Chris over there. My goodness, Stan Dusky coming in hot. Wow. Did she say anything when you woke up and she was uh, squirting on you? Let, <laughs> wax on, wax on. <laughs> you like a, big, a, you a like big karate a, kid fan. You like a morning tsunami? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, 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 he did an Asian accent. Oh, oh, everybody's fired. He just, he woke up and he's like, oh, I drank the roofie. Shit. (laughs) Oh, man. She found my stash. What's your favorite kind of girl to hook up with? Um, Asian girls. I was going to say. That's kind of sleeping. The dude... American Ninja Warrior, yeah. Japanese <laughs> girl. I felt there was a fucking theme. I was going to ask you in the Asian chick. I drive a Honda. Just keep it real. I mean, it's come on. Thing. You're all Far East, bro. You're all Far East. I love it, man. I yeah. like your style. Why do you think it is that you're drawn to Asian women so much? What do you? What do you? What do you? What do you think that? Is? What? What happened to you in your childhood that? Uh, what? What happened to me? Like it's trauma. I'm like just caused? curious. What do you think it is? Why do you think you're drawn to Asian women? Um, I just think they're beautiful. Like the. Just like the way they look, small, petite, can pick them up, take them wherever I want. Oh, so it's this is really. So hey, what, you, you didn't think about that. You, you've tried it. Have you ever thought about just going to the gym and hooking up with a white woman? You know what I mean? <laughs> I can pick them up. I can throw them around. You know what I mean? I'm just barely strong enough to be able to. Only Asian women. Or having a kid. You know, you could have a kid and do the same fucking thing too That's with that true. Japanese That's girl. True. You carry yeah. both of them. Around. But you can't have sex with a kid. <laughs> no, you, no, you cannot. No, you cannot. Can. No, you cannot. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't act like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise one more time for Tyson Pfeiffer, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you. He's on social media at Tyson the Comic. He touched me. He fucking touched me. He fucking touched me. Guy does it 11 years. He thinks he can just go around touching whoever he wants. No, oh, thanks, Tony. Touch, touch. Make some noise for your next. Let's just, you guys having fun out there? All right. Your next comedian goes by the name of Ryan Clement. Let's see what happens here. Ryan Clement. Yeah. Won't you please step back from that? Won't you please step back from that ledge? Oh, won't you please step back? One more time for Ryan Clement, everyone. Thanks a lot. How you guys doing? Doing pretty good. So um, when I was 12, I learned how to masturbate. Oh, God. <laughs> you did it so much earlier, right? Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the only problem was is that I didn't know what to do with it. You know, how do I dispose of this, uh, you know, <laughs> magical substance? So like a brilliant 12-year-old, I just picked a corner of my room. It was the... Most dim lit, sexy corner, you know? And I just kind of made it happen there. Always. <laughs> For like four months straight. And so, long story short, I come home from school one day, and my mom, she was a good mom, nice lady, very Christian, <laughs> loved to clean my room when I was gone, you know? So I come home, walk up the stairs, my mom is in the magic corner. And she's got some, some cleaning supplies, and she's just kind of cleaning away. And uh, she says, Ryan, 
If you spill orange juice, I don't give a shit. Just clean it up afterwards. All right. I like that. It's sort of like uh, it's sort of like the Kill Bill one of uh, comedy sets. Like I feel like we didn't really get any closure there at the end. It's just sort of like then then what happened? Orange juice. Yeah. What, it, it, <laughs> That's what she said. Literally, was she, I mean, was, she, was she tasting the cum on the ground? <laughs> That's always a good move. If you ever have a dirty cum corner, just pour some orange juice all over it and really throw your mom off when she leans down to smell it. Yeah, That's it'll a have fun it. fact for you young listeners out there. Yeah, it'll have extra pulp. <laughs> yeah, yes, it will. Uh, so, Ryan, this is your first time on the show. I would remember that fucking Unabomber head if I've, uh, if I've seen it. You look like a sketch of everything dangerous. <laughs> I've, never like seen this, I've never seen this episode of Survivor Man. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. I, I think you look like Brawny's boy. <laughs> yeah. You know Brawny's know. son? I don't know. You right. don't know Brawny the paper towel? Oh. You look like his boy. Yeah. Like, Ain't that Brawny's boy? That's Brawny's boy. There you this, go. This guy does not use paper towels. He jerks off in the corner of the room. <laughs> My bad. My bad. <laughs> My goodness. I can't even imagine by the look of your face and hair how much pubic hair you must have, Ryan. Is it like a record amount of pubic hair? <laughs> That's enough. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever trimmed your pubic hair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh you have? Yeah. Wow. All right, very good. So welcome to the show, Ryan. Thank you. How long have you been doing stand-up? About 18 seconds or... That's six, your first 60? set? 60, yeah. That's your first set? Yeah. Wow, congratulations. This first time ever on stage. Thank you. At the Comedy Store on Kill Tony, coming in the corner. That's going to be the name of your first special. <laughs> My goodness. You already look like you've been doing it a long time. You look like Will Forte's younger brother. Like Will Thirte or something like that. Uh, so congratulations. How old are you? 35. 35. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, so this is something you've always wanted to do? My girlfriend just put my name in the bucket. Uh, really? And, wow. Uh, that's so interesting. Did you start me, doing this? Me and Game a friend of... love coming here. Yeah. We just were like, every, every time we're just like, fuck it. And know? then this backstabbing girlfriend of yours yeah. uh, decided to really spice things up a little bit. But you had that prepared. In your head. I Well, the first time I came here, I was like 60 seconds. I started writing a little bit. And right. I was like, this is impossible to do anything in 60 seconds. Yeah. As I proved, I think. But, uh, no, it's yeah. possible. It happens a lot. Except to no, come in a corner, huh? Thank hey. You. Thank you. It's possible. Maybe not for you. Maybe not tonight, your first time. But it's definitely possible. So what have you been doing with, in your life all the way up till this point? You're 35. I work at a, a, a marijuana Grow. Shut up. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that job after Game of Thrones wrapped or what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. I got killed off. It really. looks like you weren't born in an amniotic sack, but a hacky sack. <laughs> wow. It's been a long time since we've had a good amniotic sack joke on the show. Uh, <laughs> Gus is learned, even though he just looks like a simple bumpkin. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. So, uh, wow. How long have you been working in the weed business, Ryan? Like five years. Five years. Yeah. How wow. long have you been dating this girl that uh, signed you up? Ten. Ten, Ten years? years? Yeah. Right. Oh, my God. Jeez yeah. Louise. That's a fucking long time. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, uh, what does she do? Same. Same? Yeah. She works in the weed business, too? Mm-hmm. Shut up. Wow. <laughs> so, you didn't know that your name was in the bucket? Or did you? No, did? I knew. Yeah, yeah. yeah when he we knew. met up with them, they were like, "Yeah, we put your name in." So, yeah. You want to get her back? What's that? No. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, get her back? Is that what you said? She doesn't have fucking sixty seconds. Neither did this he. Poor girl. No, he did. He knew. He, this is why I asked him all these questions in order because I was thinking that too. But he had prepared basically for what months in your head. Right? How long have you been coming to Kill Tony? You said your first time here. You're like six seconds. Two weeks ago. Well, there you go. That's fucking good. There you go. You jerked off in the corner. That's everybody's first comedy set. (laughs) Congratulations. You did it. I'm not going to bring some girl up here and watch this torture of some stone chick with a beard fucking (laughs) up here just bombing. Okay, so I totally wasn't expecting this. (laughs) It's just going to be god awful. But you guys want to see it? You want to see his girlfriend do 60 seconds? All right. 
Let's do it. What's her name? Sarah. This is going to be torture. What's her last name? Holland. Sarah, Sarah Holland. you guys want to watch a girl bomb for 60 seconds? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Sarah Collins, everybody. That way. Yeah. Here we go. This is a chick that... <laughs> prepare for slow death, everyone. It's Sarah Collins, everybody. You're really, you're really gonna make me do this right now. I like, I, <laughs> I, I literally like, this is all I have is like terrified. I'm terrified right now. This is not, I'm shaking. You're doing good. I, going. I, I, uh, <laughs> I want to cry, cry. This is like, uh, um, I, Thanks for coming out. Uh, I don't. Uh, Talk about that racist video they filmed at Whole Foods. I I haven't seen that. I don't watch the news or follow up on anything, so I really have nothing poignant to say. Unfortunately, um, ugh, I'm not a funny person, so oh, it's really uh, this is so embarrassing, and I'm uh, I. Yeah, look at you shaking your head. It's just like, this is pathetic. I'm so sorry. I don't know. Now I'm shaking my head at my co-host here, Brian Redban, uh, who but for give it some up for reason... Ryan. He did great. Hey. Kiddo, I... you had the set of the night so far. I don't know if you know this, but uh, you've had the best set of the night. Doing no jokes, just being honest, feeling the energy of the room, talking about what you know. I know you're already the fifth best female comedian in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm serious. It's incredible. Oh. Tony, can I just say you look exactly like I thought you would? <laughs> what? I saw you in my brain before you even were up you here. Knew. You knew. It was terrible, but all right. Okay, no, thanks. It's good. No, yeah. you're great. You're, that was so much fun, Sarah Collins. Tell us, uh, tell us something interesting about you that we would be surprised to know. What makes you different than other human beings? Any fun facts about you? Like how you were um, raised, your family, something? I, you I'm from a... South Dakota. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's not that cool, but... Uh, right. Uh, you have any fun <laughs> hobbies that you're into? You look like you might be into uh, like frisbee golf or something like that. Um, or, uh, no, I've never done frisbee no, golf. No, you seem uh, like I, you, you seem I like you know how to bake a uh, vegan vegan cuisine. Am I correct about this? You know how to bake vegan food? No. 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 You're, you're a hit. You're sort of a free spirit. I'm a free spirit, I guess. Yeah. I can yeah. Say that, What's yeah. like one of the more hippie things about you? You seem like the kind of person that like uh, that like jars her own tomatoes or something like that. Am I right? Hippie thing. I do. do you I have less know. or more pubic hair than your boyfriend? It's <laughs> <laughs> a good Brad, question. take it easy. I mean. <laughs> He's pretty well trimmed, so... Whoa, yeah. look at that. That's All right, who thing. wants to do a pube off real quick yeah. between the boyfriend and the girlfriend? <laughs> me, me, yeah. me. Yeah. I'll do it. This is, I, I don't really... I mean, there's nothing specifically that interesting. I don't have anything. I so. think I, th I, I, I beg the difference. You know what? Let's bring your boyfriend back up here. Let's bring Ryan Clement up here. He's you funny. stay right I'm there. Not, I just... Like you stay right there. No, this is great. This is incredible. Ryan, why don't you give us a fun fact about your girlfriend that, uh, that she might be glazing over? You've known her for 10 years. You know her whole thing. She's from South Dakota. What does she have? She has like two buttholes or something? Three. Wow. Oh, wow. There we go. We're finding something here. Give us she does fun. improv. Really? Yeah, she does improv? She does improv down in San Diego. Wow. Yeah, that's Ugh. incredible. You guys are the hottest homeless couple I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, this was fun. A little fun surprise uh, set with Ryan Clement and his lovely girlfriend, Sarah Collins, everybody. Just going to prove that anything you can guys. happen here on Kill Tony. There they go. What a cute little couple, huh? Hell yeah. Oh, won't you please step back? You guys having fun out there, huh? It, clearly, anything can happen on Kill Tony. There's a bunch of those. Are, those were that was a guy's and a girl's first ever stand-up comedy set. They've been together for ten years. Magical. 
<laughs> magical. What was the joke you tried to squeeze in there during her? She 60 looked like that. Did you see that video of the racist girl from uh, Whole Foods that was screaming the N word like every second? Yeah. Oh. She looked just like her. Oh. <laughs> Look it up. It's pretty crazy. Wow. There you go. It's a great reference to make in the middle of someone's set. That was awesome. It was great. We, sometimes I forget you have all the time yeah, She on wasn't your going hand. to say anything. Oh, okay. There you go. Perfect comedic timing yet again there while I was finishing a joke. Perfect. Yeah, You're yeah, just yeah, on yeah, fire yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, just yeah, a yeah, master yeah, yeah, of yeah, podcasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Chris Roberts, everyone. Chris Roberts. Chris Roberts. Wow. This guy. Wow, he's really uh, taking his time. I, I think he's stuck, ladies and gentlemen. It appears as though Chris no, is stuck. Not him. All right, good. Fine, perfect. I'm saying that right, right? Yeah, okay. How about Michael Harmon, everyone? Michael Harmon. Here we go. He's very excited. Here he comes. Wow. Come on, one more time, good and loud for Michael Harmon. Woo! Hi, how you guys doing? All right. You know what? As a white man, I'm fucking ashamed of everybody that's uh, decided they want to shoot people out their own schools. Uh, I don't know what the fuck is going on with these guys, but uh, I think what they need is Jesus Christ and a fucking blowjob. All right. Seriously, all these guys that are shooting up these schools are just asking for sex. That's all they want. We're one blowjob away from saving lives. All right. I mean, this is pitiful. These guys are crying out. And I just want to say, man, if, if there's any women out there that are willing to touch an awkward teenage guy's cock, that would, uh, I think that would really do the world a favor because that's all they need. That's all they need is just one, one step away from saving Thank you. <laughs> I, love, I love it when you at least laugh at the awkward silence. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, hey. Oh, my God. Fuck yeah, Michael Harmon. Wow. Oh. Wow. Doing Thank some, you. Thank you. Doing some wacky, like, 60s comedy here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I ha I'm glad... I'm glad you could Whoa! at least identify it. Because <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it was. I don't know so. where the mic stand is. I'm tripping all over the court. Whoa! <laughs> oh, my God. Michael, oh, my God. Look Woo! at you. You are something fuck yeah. else. This is like Al Franken on fucking HGH Al or Franken? something like that. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. I'm you're not like, even Jewish. <laughs> you are, oh, you're wow. like retarded David Wait, Letterman. Wait, is Al all Franken right. Jewish? I apologize to his family. My God! And you're I think he's not self-aware either. Shut up. <laughs> Back to you, Tony. Thank, thank, thank you, uh, puppeteer uh, Vin Triloquy. Okay. So, wow, you seem like a grown man, but you also seem like you sleep on clothes. I am. I am. I'm so old that I just took a leak, and then two minutes later, a little piss came out. It's called chlamydia, buddy. That's I need, <laughs> I need, I need depends, but I just, I can't go there yet, you know. Wow. Wow. You're cool, man. How You're old cool too. Bro. How old are you? You guys are all cool. How old are you? Oh fuck, man. I'm 46. 46. Fuck yeah. I'm, that is. That's a sexy age, isn't that is it? Death's doorbell ringing right there. <laughs> White single, 46. I used to drive for Uber. I'm basically the guy you warned your daughters about. Wait, you're single? What do you do now? Shut the fuck oh, up. Yeah, I mean, Wait, shut up. Despite how beautiful I am, yeah. What do you do now? You said you used to drive Uber. I'm a Uber. structural take a, take engineer. Take a half a step that way. Oh, shit. No, structural no. engineer? What type of, uh, what do you mean? What does that mean exactly? We engineer structures. Uh -huh. You think your jokes would have uh, more of that uh, then? No, we, we get the shit from architects, of, like the little fairy guys. Yeah. With the, they wear the scarves and shit, and then we make sure that their fucking shit doesn't fall down. Wow, you have a That's dirty mouth on you. I know. And my kids are watching this. I'm sorry, fucking kids. Are they really? Oh, you have kids? I'm sorry, you bastards. Oh, oh I my mean, they're God. Not, I mean, one of them's a girl, so she's not a bastard. I don't know what you call a girl with... Okay. <laughs> Very good. There you go. Woo! Fuck yeah. 
So I'm not even on drugs either. It's okay, just, relax, uh, Michael. You don't. Michael, let Michael, let that let that let the show breathe a little bit. Okay, there's a, this thing called beats and timing that uh, it's a very effective comedic tool. So uh, let me ask you this: You said that uh, you, you work in structural. How many kids do you have? I think three. Oh, okay. Three. three. Yeah, how three. Old, how old are they? <laughs> Shit. Nineteen almost. Uh-huh. Fifteen and fourteen. Nineteen, fifteen, and fourteen. All with the same mom. Mm, yeah. Yes. Uh, and yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, for wow. yeah. Actually, you, I shouldn't price. <laughs> you you, uh, <laughs> you don't like her? Well, she uh. She had an affair with a rapist. Oh, really? Yeah. She had an affair with a rapist. Yeah, she was like interested in cutting down on crime. So. <sighs> okay. I you think she figured if she fucked him. Like when you came up with that, like, did you think that that would work? <laughs> you know what? I'm day to day. I'm not sure what the fuck will work in any category of my life. So. Very good. I like yeah. that. I like that is brutally honest, Michael. Yeah. So yeah, let's you, talk about your. So she was your wife. I got a back. Right. Up. She was my wife. Yeah. Uh, right. And while you were married, you found out that she cheated on you. Is that correct? Well, if we weren't married, it wouldn't be cheating. Michael, just oh. answer the questions. Yes. You yes. fucking bomb artist. Okay. Just <laughs> listen. Think for a sec. You can even take a second before your mouth starts fucking making noises if you want. You could do. You could take all the time you want. There is no race. Stay. Keep your feet planted where they are right now. I'm so. Can hyper, I just man. say I hate this motherfucker? Wait a second. What? <laughs> Whoa. Wait a second. What is that? Who is this guy? Yo, it's Leon. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow. Leon. This is incredible. Wow. I can't believe there is a black puppet here. This is... <laughs> yeah, first black cast member of this show, man. <laughs> that is not true. That is not true. Malcolm Hatchett was the first one. I'm talking about the band, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. It's very exciting. Man, to... stop feeling, man. All right. So I want to talk about this uh, situation here. So how did you find out that your wife cheated on you? Well, we had sex, uh-huh. and then we were laying in bed because we had sex in bed. And then, I know, it's a weird fucking place to have sex. You're like if Dilbert was a um, failure. So she looked... No, no, honestly, she just looked over at me and she said, I got to tell you something. And this is right after you guys had sex? Yeah. Okay. And then She looked in your eyes and said, you a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she looked in your eyes and she said, I have to tell you something. She said, I got to tell you something. Yeah. I had an affair. Oh, my God. Yeah. And yeah, the, how long ago was this? About what? Five years. Five years ago. And uh, how, what makes you say that he's a rapist? Because she told me. That he raped her? He'd been twice accused of rape. Wow. Yeah. So I figure, I mean, you get one, but right. two, you're a rapist. <laughs> oh, wow. So you, yeah, that's, I mean. Your wife still had sex. one rape. Your, yeah. your uh, wife still had sex with a guy that, she, that told, you know, like. You knew about she knew about the rapist. Well, shit? the way he tells it is he was just accused. Right, right. You know? wife so he him. didn't say he was a rapist. He just said he was accused. So, but she knew that beforehand. <laughs> or I hope not. No. Oh, <laughs> man. Interesting. Where did they? How did? You, how did you know how they met or anything like that? Or did they work? Man, together? this is hurtful, man. No, this is good. We're finding out <laughs> something wanna, interesting I about I mean, you. I if you, you want to see, if you want to see hurtful, rewatch your sixty-second set from. <laughs> That's the most painful thing oh I've ever God, been man. through. Yeah, man, this is the funniest hey, you've been all night. Even if you're laughing at me, that's all right. <laughs> you're doing good. Yeah, it's true. I agree with Neon. Um, Leon. Oh, Leon. I'm sorry. I thought you said. Did you call him Neon? <laughs> I, I thought. Can said I just say Neon. this? This might be an inside joke, but can I see your shirt real quick? Oh boy. I mean, a black flag shirt in a V-neck is just like a sin against God, dude. You're fucking. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. This is a real. This is fucking forty. Shut up. All right, back to you, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, you guys decided to split after that? Everything yeah, just sort of ruined? Yeah, I decided after the rapist dick. I didn't yeah. really want to go in there anymore. So yeah. Right. And did they end up carrying on a relationship for some time? No. No. It was just one and done. Typical rapist shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Wow. How about, how about your sex life not now? What's that like? Well, I'm setting a record. Yeah? For what? For a number of days not fucking. Really? What, what are you at right now? I think I'm at 379. Wow. Have you yeah. considered raping someone? Well, Get your wife back. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm not a violent man. No. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey can you uh, can you name one Black Flag song? Wow. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, smoking and drinking. Okay. How about a uh, singer? What's your favorite singer for Black Flag? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Henry Rollins. Boo. All right, bye. See you wow. later. Wow. <laughs> Just kidding. Danny Lucas loves uh, Henry Rollins. All right, bye. Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. So, uh, I don't know what this black flag shit that's Oh, going it's on. some inside shit. I'm roasting the hell out of him right now. You just don't know. It. <laughs> He's so embarrassed. No, hell, I'm, no, I'm not embarrassed. What Shut you, up! What do you... <laughs> you guys have any thoughts about this guy or anything? Anything on Michael? I mean, he's just so... You're an aggressive human. How long have you been doing stand-up? I'm just full of love, you know? How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? This is the third time ever. Oh. I went out Friday night and I did two. I did... Um, I don't want to talk too much, so you keep going. No, you, w- <laughs> God, I, I swear like to I'm God. I feel like I'm pissing everybody you off. You are right up there with one of my least favorite humans that have ever gotten pulled out of this bucket. There's just nothing no. worse than a human that can't answer the easiest I, questions. I did Ha Ha yeah. Comedy Club, and then I did uh, Flappers. That's fucking... No, so, I'm sorry, Sycamore. Sycamore. I'll tell you this, dude. Let me tell you something. I mean, I, I talk about how much I hate you and uh, <laughs> all these things. But, you know, a guy like you, you're only 46, and, uh, <laughs> you know, sure. <laughs> Is that the death toll? <laughs> you're only 46, and, uh, you know, your kids are pretty much grown up. Who cares about the 14-year-old, right? So I say fucking go for it, man. Structural engineering sounds like a fucking, like a real, like, pretty boring gig and if this gives you any excitement at all i say go for it listen better take your time use comedic timing watch comedy do some research and fucking if you love it if it makes you feel good and i think it does because you seem to be having fun then fucking roll with it man there's no limits to when you can start just get better sign up again and do better thank you man there you You go michael Harmon. can i just say i love thank you Thank you. Thank you for I, just. I love being here, man. I'm just thank happy you. To you got to go now, Michael <laughs> Harmon, everybody. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> all right. Sometimes the show's crazy. You know what I mean? You can't... This is like a wild workplace, right? This is what I would consider a wild workplace, which reminds me that I want to tell you about Monday.com, a team management tool that will improve your office workflow. Monday.com makes it easy to track projects and stay productive. Instead of emails, spreadsheets, random files, whiteboards, to-do lists, post-it notes, these people track everything all in one place. Takes no time to set up and can easily customize. It's amazing, right? It's easy to stay organized and find files. Looking through emails to find stuff is a nightmare. Woo! Monday.com organizes everything in one place so you aren't wasting time searching for the things you need. It, it creates accountability. What's more annoying than asking somebody to do something and you never get a response? I hate that all the... You know, this is the worst. Are they working on it? I don't know. Did they get the email? Who knows? How often are important tasks getting lost in the shuffle? What with Monday.com, with Monday.com, you can easily assign tasks to coworkers and track projects. You know, Garfield hates Monday, but Monday.com is great for me. The platform is suitable for any size team, from two freelancers working together to thousands collaborating across the globe. So check out Monday.com. This is the incredible team management tool. Yes, it'll put an end to boring meetings and trying to figure out things that uh, are confusing. Monday.com just does everything for you. That's why we recommend Monday.com. And if you go to Monday.com slash Kill Tony, they're going to give you a free 14-day trial. There's no commitment. You can check out Monday.com and see for yourself how helpful their software is. One more time, that's Monday.com slash Kill Tony for a free 14-day trial. And make sure you use that exact link because if you're using our link, there will be additional savings if you choose to sign up. So go to Monday.com slash Kill Tony. No one has more fun on Mondays than us. Yeah, back to the show we go. (laughs) Easy breezy. Yeah, real quick, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about Friday.com. Next Friday and (laughs) FridayAfterNext.com. Wow. Wow, that is incredible. I can't believe uh, this is, you know, t- just goes to show what I love about this show is that there are no rules. There's nothing is sacred. And there is a black puppet being performed by a white man on this show live. 
Listen, I've had talks with him before. He, he goes a little crazy sometimes. <laughs> I love it. He's got glasses and everything. What do you do for work, Leon? Meh. A lot of things. Wow. Jeez. New York. <laughs> like what? What do you do for work? UPS. Oh. All right. Cool. Okay. Pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys excited about this? All right, put your hands together for Brandon Potter, everyone. Brandon Potter. Brandon Potter. Wow, look at this. He's coming from the audience side, everybody. Brandon Potter. Hey. Sup, bitches. Cool. Uh, a lot of straight people, they think uh, being gay is a choice, but they're wrong, all right? Uh, they actually make you audition to be gay. Yeah, in front of Satan. Homophobes are people pissed off because they didn't get a call back. Mike Pence. I was really high the other day, and I was like, what if it is a choice? Nah. <laughs> Dude, if, it was, like, if scientists could invent a pill that could turn me straight, I'd probably just stick that pill up my butt. You know? Hopefully it's not a suppository. <laughs> Fuck science, right? Where are my Christians at? Wow. All right, thanks. Great set. Brandon Potter, everybody. Hell yeah. Cool, thank you. My goodness. Everyone tonight has been saying that uh, performing uh, and getting laughs in 60 seconds is impossible and hard, and then you came up here and just uh, took over. Thank you. I appreciate oh, it. Yeah, absolutely. This is like my fourth time trying to get on the show, so it's my first time getting on the show. So I love it. Well, hell yeah. We just popped your cherry. Well, I mean, it's probably been popped before. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, let's check in with uh, uh, Leon. Yeah, man. Uh, you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Leon. Yes. Wow. Hell yeah. That's ah oh, hell no, man. <laughs> wait, wait, Leon. You have a problem with gay guys? Ah oh, no, nah, man. What, what? <laughs> wait, what's, I keep I keep noticing that there's you you pretend like I mean it seems like everything is okay and then you just sort of trickle out there. Nah, man. I mean it's totally cool, man. <laughs> there might be a homophobic puppet. Oh nah, man, stage. I got a lot of gay friends. Uh, yeah, <laughs> really? Like who? Uh, you, uh, what's one of your gay friends' names? Uh, Dr. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Leon. I love it. You just no. Dr. Dre. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. So Brandon, welcome to the show. How long have you been doing stand-up comedy? Um, I first did it like five years ago, but I feel like I've really been doing it for like the past three years. Yeah. Uh huh. And you've been uh, been working hard at it. You do a lot of spots. Yeah, I actually uh, work at the La Jolla Comedy Store. Oh, you're an employee of the La Jolla Comedy mm -hmm. Store. That's incredible. That's fucking awesome, man. Were you there last Sunday? I was. Yeah, I tried to get up on that one, but uh, I didn't get picked. So. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. You know, there's two comedy stores. How long have you been working there? About a year. That's awesome. Yeah. That's exactly a great place to be. A lot of great comedians. You know, all the comedians here, are, uh, all the employees here are some top young rising comedians in the world. And, um, and the La Jolla Comedy Store is a, you know, a farmland for uh, that. Some greats. Bobby Lee, Brian Moses, a lot of uh, great people. There's also a lot of horrible ones like Guam Felix, your door guy tonight. Uh, I mean, just god awful. Some people just are just horrible. And they never get fired for some reason. Like, the, some GMs or whatever feel bad for certain people. And they just keep, it's like, what are they, I don't want them to kill themselves. So you know what I mean? Like. Yo, yeah. man, what the hell? You a snitchy bitch, Tony. <laughs> Wait, what? Leon, you turning on me? Hell yeah. All right. So Brandon, uh, you, uh, you, have, you always been, uh, have you always known that you were gay? Yeah, I've known since I was like three. Yeah? yeah. Like, how did you know when you were three? You knew when you was three? Damn. What yeah, happened? I was like, I was at the grocery store with my mom, yeah. and we were checking out. And, and then you put like your pacifier in your butt. <laughs> All right, Red Band. Get rid of it. 
Get it out of there. That's your one. Do not do it again. You're out of control with that thing. No, I was I was looking at the magazine rack, and I remember just like being naturally drawn to the magazine with like the half naked dude on it. And I was like, this isn't normal. And at so three? Kinda... Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Remember how you were into chicks at three? Yeah, no. <laughs> you weren't? No. At three? No. I was into like Play-Doh and stuff. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Play-Doh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So uh, you realize you were. When did? When's the first time like you hooked up with a guy? Was there like somebody in grade school or something like that? Or? Uh, I was fourteen, and it was on the East Coast in Maryland. And uh, like back then, you had to meet guys in like chat rooms and stuff. Heck yeah. <laughs> no, that's not. That's that makes no sense there. No. But like. We met at a mall, and then there was, like, a train tracks behind the mall in the forest. So, oh, yeah. damn. This is, like, where every gay experience happens, yeah. right? There's always train tracks involved before well, you play with your choo <laughs> you know what I mean? Before you get, get an old car up the caboose, you know what I'm saying? It's a funny story because uh, we hooked up in the, for- in the woods by the train tracks, and the next day, I had poison ivy over my like entire body. Oh. Like, you know my ball sack, I and I wasn't was out. Ivy, my guy. Yeah, that's that punishment so I was for being scared. gay, man. <laughs> I didn't want to tell anybody because I didn't want my mom asking questions like, "What were you doing at the mall?" So I had to hide it. Right. Yeah. There's no poison ivy at the mall that you said that you went to. These are some woodland sound effects coming from. Uh, when it happened, were you like all aboard? <laughs> my goodness, did the train go by at all? No. No. <laughs> fucking chicka 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 chicka. There was like a homeless. Hey, look at those fags over there! A homeless guy walked by us, though. Really? Yeah. I was sucking this dude's dick, and then a homeless guy walked by. Oh, Jesus. He's <laughs> like, you guys are. <laughs> it was the worst first time ever. I didn't have sex for two years after that. Really? Yeah, I was <laughs> horrified. Wait, it was the worst first time? Yeah. No. You know, you only get one of those, right? <laughs> That's fun. That is so fun. So, Brandon, uh, you ever, uh, like, what's the, what do, what do you think is, I'm going to ask you this question because it's, it's a fun one. What do you think the gayest thing you've ever done is? Oh, my God. Uh, wear wear the shirt. shirt. Uh. <laughs> Trevor Wallace. Yeah. It's like Parker Lewis. What's the second gayest thing you've ever done? Uh, jeez. Uh, I take a pill every day so I can't get HIV. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Look at you, you dirty yeah. little raw dog <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you want to get HIV? Yeah. You mean you mean you take a pill every day so that you don't have to wear a condom? Yeah. <laughs> my mom calls them my fag pills. So. Yeah. No, that's that's what everyone calls them behind <laughs> your back. Uh. Man, your mom dope as hell, dog. <laughs> They have that? That's It's like a plan B for HIV? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, the doctor actually prescribed it to me, though, uh, so I could share needles safely. I'm sorry. No, I'm no. Dumb of course. <laughs> I ruined of course. everything. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had sex with a guy? You're like, oh, uh, this guy definitely has AIDS. Like, yeah. This is fucking risky business. Thank God I took <laughs> this pill. Yeah, man. This dude got that AIDS dick on him. Yeah. Well, as long as their load is undetectable... Uh, they can't transmit it. So. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Leon, Leon, Leon. Please. It's science. Leon, please, please stop throwing up in the microphone so loudly. I can't. I can't get over this. <laughs> He's not. I just so insensitive, Leon. So, what do you mean by load and undetectable and all this? Explain. Okay, that. real talk. So. If you're HIV positive, as long as you're on your meds and uh, your viral load is like undetectable on the test, uh, you can't <laughs> transmit HIV. Um, yeah. So. Wow. See? What? Oh Wait, my God. Did the puppet run over there? That is. That is one of the most random. De- definitely a dude with AIDS in the corner. Uh, that's incredible. That's right. He's just back there, fucking some guy. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah, look at you giving the old fucking dee 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 Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Brandon Potter is zoning in over there. All right, what is this? Justin Bieber? <laughs> Come on, red band. 
Wow, this is all so interesting. <laughs> how long have you? Uh, how long have you lived on the West Coast? Uh, I've been in San Diego for about ten years now. Ten yeah. years. That's mm-hmm. fucking awesome, man. Your parents uh, too, or they live in Maryland? You said they're, they're all over. Oh yeah. Who they're cares kids. about your parents? You're yeah, so fucking. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. They don't. Yeah, that's cool. You still close with them? No. <laughs> really? Yeah. Is that true? What do you? What's, what type of de- a guy is your dad? What type? What's he like? Um. Uh, Really angry. <laughs> yeah, Come he on. was actually cool about the gay thing. He was just a it, dick. W- and was it his stuff. fault? Maybe. <laughs> no. <Yeah>. No. <laughs> no. We don't really talk, but really, right. I have lots of daddy figures in my life. It's not a big deal. Damn. <laughs> fuck yeah. Okay. okay. Wow. All right. All right. Okay. Bro. Congrats on making that the new gayest thing you ever said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That is incredible. Well, Brandon, I mean, you're so much fun, dude. Please feel free to come up and sign up anytime. You guys have anything else for Brandon? Your thoughts about Brandon? Anything? All good, man. Yo, you man, were, can look, you catch this gay? Wait, what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were great. You came up with joke, 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 joke. You hit it. You had smart jokes. Christianity, where my Christians was really intelligent. I got it on both levels. Yeah, you can tell uh, you're a comedy store employee immediately. Thank yeah, you. dude, that you're means a lot. Good. I'm gonna like start crying now. This, you did. This you is wow. like the gayest thing. Heck ever yeah, that's now. the. This this will be the gayest. That would be. Thing that would be <laughs> here it is. That Here's would be the, gayest the fourth thing gayest right thing you've done on stage tonight. <laughs> hey man, no. hey, could you not cry on me? I don't want to get HIV, man. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, no. He is. My goodness. Thank you. This is an honor. Thank you. Absolutely. No tears at all, unless you count the tears in his (laughs) asshole, everybody. Brandon Potter, everyone. There you go. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Backstep, backstep, background. That ledge, 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 my friend. Hey. Hey, look at that little paper planes. Shadowing perhaps uh, our next comedian, who is uh, an unbelievably controversial figure as of late. I, uh, there are this guy has always been either loved or hated. Uh, he uh, was late for his spot last week. That he came up and maybe had what many are saying was a controversial set. A lot of people say that he's been leaning on his devices a lot lately. Uh, so let's see what happens tonight. This is a high-pressure situation. One of my favorite comedians still, but a lot of people hate him. This could be a situation of a good guy turning into a bad guy right in front of our eyes. Many people compare him to a modern-day Hulk Hogan who started good and everybody loved him, and then he came out as bad, and he, that made him ultra bad because a good bad guy used to be a good guy. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. <laughs> Here we go. Here he is. Here he is. The Kill Tony regular. The one and the only. The crowd goes wild. First first off, Tony Martinez, I found your identification card. (laughs) So I have a movie coming out in a couple weeks called High Tides, The Other Dracula Story. Uh, Los Angeles police officer Jack angers retired bomb squad member Howard Payne by failing his attempts at taking hostages. In revenge, Howard Payne arms a bus that will explode if it goes under 50 miles per hour. With the help of spunky passenger Annie and his buddy Harry, They try to make it so the bus doesn't get below 50 miles per hour while also with, while also trying to figure out how Howard Payne is monitoring them. Yeah, so this is called a sewer pharmacy. That's an impression of my uncle. He literally works in a sewer at a pharmacy chain. It used to be called Kmart. Ah, there it is, William Montgomery, everyone. Wearing pants. Wearing what might be one of the finer turtlenecks I've ever seen. How does it make my gut look? Well, you do have that thing going on that uh, in which there is a there is a there is a ledge there. Uh, there is 
It's not the bottom of your shirt is not pressed up. I didn't want to sort of bring this up tonight, but since you brought up ledges, I was back in Memphis two weeks ago. Oak Court Mall, just in the parking structure, at the edge of it, at the ledge, just wanting to jump. I recently found out I'm related to Aztecs. Let's give it up for Aztecs. I've I've come up. Hey, Red Band, you want to quit that shit? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Do you mind putting on Brick? All right, Brick. All right. So I started writing a movie uh, called High Tides, the other Draculas. Yeah, there it is. Hey, Red Band, what's going on? Go ahead, William. Y'all just picture me in a cave somewhere. Middle America, South America, mid-1500s, trying to sort of get in good with the natives there, just finally going into the cave, showing them one of the t-shirts I made, telling them it has magnets in it. They're like, hold on, what's going on? Can you turn the song off, please? All right. Uh... Man, this dude dressed like white trash Incredible Hulk right here. Oh, shit. What's up? My name is Michael Martinez. Wait, you, wait a second. That's not true at all. You're William Montgomery. So, William, let me ask you this. Uh, last night, or last week when you were on the show... What's uh, your name, dude? Oh, here we go. We've seen this Why before. Why are you fucking looking at me that way? He's in the audience, William. Tony, I'll be quite frank. After last week's debacle, yeah. I had three pieces of shit get in my DMs telling me to kill myself, telling me to quit doing the show. Tony, I'll just be very honest. I've started playing a bunch of word games. What are those things called where you look for words? Words with friends? Word searches. Oh, yeah. I started doing a bunch of word searches. Google search. Yeah, and then what it happened? Just, y'all don't repeat. Just seriously, it, it gives me chills right now. I found the word Cinderella in there. So, William, these people that, uh, these w people that send you these messages on the Internet, which I know for a fact is true because I have people that message me asking me to ask you to kill yourself. Uh... <laughs> Um, it has been quite hey, the turn. Can you put on brick for a second, it's, please? It, it's still, it's, it's, it's in there. Yeah, it's playing. Go ahead, it's playing. Y'all just picture me down in the Aztec arena, mid-1500s, showing them my discovery of Velcro on my shoes. And they're not impressed. Montezuma is with Red Band doing ketamine. Y'all, I'll be quite frank, I was with Red Band at an Applebee's this past week. He did out some ketamine. I was like, Red Band, I can't do this. I'm about to marry you and your wife in a couple weeks. You know, I'm Episcopalian. Episcopalian. How are you going to marry me and my How wife? How do you find these words that you say so beautifully? Can you say that one more time? What religion are you? Tony, how I've been doing it, I've literally been playing... What is that game called? I just asked you a fucking question. Word sir, I've been playing... Goddamn. Word searches out the frame. I've been playing... What's that game called where you try Words to sink the battleships? Battleship. Battleship. I've been playing Battleship like it's my job. Yeah. My cousin Taylor tried to poison me last Tuesday. Yeah, what did he do to try to poison you? What I did trusted him. Oh. Zantac? All right. Well. You, you look like you're modeling for a clothing company called Fruit of the Gloom. Wow. Brad, that Hey, Red Band, nice. can you write that down, please? Let's see. <laughs> oh, my God. So, William, no, me, William, 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 over here for a second. Let's make eye contact. Soak it in. You know what? Let's check in with this panel. This is their first time seeing you. You're looking for their... This is the classic, what we call the William look of appro for approval. Uh, <laughs> he's desperately hoping that these guys like him. <laughs> Can you get me on one of your videos? I promise <laughs> Dude, you, I I'll you. work yeah. hard. I'll wear speedo goggles. I'll not give nah, a you shit. Don't, you don't need to. <laughs> no, William, you're, you're one of my favorites, man. I don't think you should kill yourself. 
But your stylist definitely should kill himself, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put that song on one more time? <laughs> oh, no, shit. you're great, man. He's you're got awesome. got a real record. Y'all just picture me. Memphis, Tennessee, mid 2000s. What if we don't want a picture it anymore? Hey, Red Band, write that down, please. Go ahead, William. Were you gonna? Were you gonna? Were you getting somewhere yeah, with that me one? Yeah, on the ledge of the parking All right. structure. You're, you're already in the- repeat mode, William. Uh, let's check in with. Uh, let's check in with Ryan Sickling. Now, now, let me remind you guys that William writes and performs a new minute every week. So it's a little bit of a much harder, much different situation. Clearly, he has a. Hey, very Ryan. Improvised- I'll be very frank. I used to respect you a bunch. Once I found out you di- had that campaign against Aztecs, against Sequoians. My mother used to drive a Sequoia. I get it. <laughs> Look, I'm a fucking, I'm a Mayan all day long. All right? Hey, Ryan, so can I ask Aztecs. you a question? No, let me say something. If first. I were to William, end up... William, William, you can. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta lie. Ryan, about. here's my question. Go ahead. If I were to end up opening up for you in some sort of... Of an arena, maybe in like North Carolina, arena? South Carolina, I would go up on stage, and you would have been asking me all night, hold on, who's that lady? And I would start telling jokes, and she would start doing sign language. You lost me at if I ever opened for you. Shit. Your style. Get my back on this one. I can't. you got to turn around for me, because I have not been able to look. I can't lift my head above these knees. You have... He has camouflage Crocs. Whoa. Slacks, and they are rolled to accent the camouflage so- yeah. Crocs. You are absolutely the white guy we should all be worried about. <laughs> what is this? I've look said really? it before. I'll say. Did y'all just see that? That was cool. Yeah. I'll That's say good. it before. Thank you for that song. Can you please keep playing it? Y'all just picture Ryan and I, mid 2000s. Oak Court Mall just walking in there with machine guns. And I look at Ryan and I'm like, dude, you know, I can't talk. You can't hear. Okay. <laughs> William, let me ask you this. In closing, is there anything you can look right at uh, right at that camera right there? Is the live stream or if you're looking forward to maybe can more future? Lights, William, please? wait a second. William? William, you know what? Look at me for a second so that this really sinks in. I'm wondering if perhaps in this final moment of you on the stage here tonight, if you'd like to say something directly to those people that have been messaging us all for you to kill yourself. If you'd like to speak directly to them, if there's something that you'd like to say from your heart. Hey, Ryan Sandberg, I get it. You probably (laughs) took your name from the famous baseball player when you told me to stop being the regular on Kill Tony. We're sick of the same bullshit week after week. I just was reading that on my Nokia. <laughs> all right. Red Band, write that down. I'm kidding. Okay. Those are all bits. There he goes, um, William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. Another new minute from William. Another fun interview. <laughs> Why don't we do something fun? Before we go to the bucket one last time, let's do something fun. Let's bring a guy up here who has uh, he's made uh, some amazing appearances in the last couple weeks. We've had a lot of fun with him. Uh, I love this guy. This is a guy a lot of people are... I mean, there's a lot of rumors going around on the internet that this guy is making a claim to perhaps be the next regular here on Kill Tony. Let's see what happens tonight. Make some noise for David Lucas, everyone. Here he comes. My mom's favorite comedian in the history of Kill Tony, David Lucas. Yeah. What's up, nigga? <laughs> I uh, I don't like skinny people. I hate when skinny people get on the escalator and walk. Like, nigga, I really need this shit. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Like, if you wanted to do all that extra shit, you could have took the stairs. You know what I mean? (laughs) I don't give a fuck how much you tap me on my shoulder. I'm not moving. (laughs) 
If you keep fucking around, I'm gonna fall back and take us all out. Yeah. I'm gonna suicide bomb this hoe. You know what I'm saying? That's my time. Oh yeah, I like that. In and out. 50 seconds of thunder. I love that. It's the hardest I've laughed all night at a joke. That's I appreciate great. you, bro. I could tell that really came from your enlarged heart. Oh, look at Tony. Look at Tony looking like a gender neutral Barbie. <laughs> Wait, what? You look like a gender neutral Barbie. Man. I love like, you repeated ah! it. Like you could go in the bathroom with a half of a skirt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Leon. Leon, why do you laugh like that? No, this dude the new regular in my eyes. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe you just called me a gender neutral Barbie. That fucking, you could have at least called me a gender neutral Ken doll or something like that. But I mean, you went straight for the Barbie. Man, you, look like you, got, you look like you collect vintage porn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like you got cowboy porn. Ain't you? Oh, my God. You're Bring a- that blue blazes pussy over here, girl. You know? Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. This guy's out of There's control. I like that. <laughs> what happened to your hoodie? You get into a fight with a milkshake earlier? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, goddamn <laughs> paper straws. Red band, we need that shit. You look like Al from Tool Time. Man. <laughs> 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 he does look like Al from Tool Time. You are, uh, you are awesome, uh, David Lucas. Thank you, man. You I want to are... make a quick shout out, man. Uh, a lot of y'all don't know, but my boy uh, Gary Clark Jr. is in the audience. That's true. He is. He's sitting right yeah, there, yeah, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. One of the great musical yeah. artists in the world. He everybody. sold out the Hollywood Bowl last night, man. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. I didn't want to put him on the spot or anything, but uh, just proving. Now we're trying again. to get him some more black fans because black people, you know. Y'all ain't fucking with uh, blues, nigga. I love yeah. it. Well, we get a lot of black fans. We need, we need some more nigga fans, man. We got a lot of black <laughs> fans. Having people like you on the show, David, you know, the notorious P.I.G. So fucking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, damn, Tony. You are, you are, uh, you are black and strong, uh, which reminds me, nitro cold brew coffee. Uh <laughs> One of my favorite drinks shit. in the world. Use the promo code Kill Tony. Save twenty percent uh, or fifteen percent on all of your orders. It is unbelievable. Um, so, what's been going on with life, uh, man? I so got a meeting with a manager. Wait, uh, what? Got a meeting with a manager. Got a meeting with a manager from yeah, yeah. your episode of Kill Tony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, look yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, look yeah. at that. Look at that. Motherfuckers. Uh, I'm recording my album, my first live stand-up album, October 24th. If oh. y'all want to get in, holler at me on Instagram. Oh, know shit. Know yeah, Man, yeah, yeah. that sounds funny. Are, what, what, what's the album? Is it just a... Nah, a, a, nigga, a, nah, is, nigga. It, is it a recording? <laughs> 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 it's just a recording of your heartbeat? <laughs> What's the who's who's the man like who's the manager like Tony's manager? Oh, are you yeah. fucking serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah wow, he won't even manage me. Well, you yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, you got to cut that beard, nigga. Yeah, yeah it's, it's true. Maybe uh, I don't know. I don't know what that would take. Um, <laughs> it's not, that's not even a, <laughs> all right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you there on uh, that one, Brian. Yeah. No, it's just uh, it's a little <laughs> too real there. Yeah, it's a little, little makes me a little bit sad yeah. in my heart. <laughs> kind of. no, I'm kidding. Be a lot easier. You've been doing the road a lot. I mean, yeah. not like clearly not jogging or anything, but uh, <laughs> you've been. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I gotta find a new therapist, man. Really? My what ther- happened? You broke the couch on the last one. <laughs> I'm a literal person. Like, I don't fuck around. Well, I'm not. I'm a gender neutral Barbie. So, uh. (laughs) No, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, I was at my therapist uh, last Friday, Uh and he was asking me questions. He was like, Are you depressed? Do you hear voices? I said, I hear yours. Yeah. And he was like, You got to find another therapist, bro. Like, I can't take this humor. Really? Because he was like, I'm trying to be. He was like, I'm not being funny. Even though I'm a comedian, he was like, Nah. So I'm looking for a new therapist. Therapist, holla at me. I love this. Every wow. time you're on the show, you're always looking for a new. <laughs> Last time it was a manager. You got a meeting with a manager. Now you look right at the live stream. You know so many therapists watch this show. This is a, just a top help of the board. Wait, I want to try this. I need a mattress. If there's anybody out there hey. selling mattresses. I think Neil Leeds is actually in the house tonight. I'm pretty sure oh, he's yeah. somewhere. Oh, yeah. Big ups to that guy. I need one. 
Hell yeah. This is my boy Trevor Wallace. We was on yeah? All Dev together. Yeah. You guys know each other? All Dev. We was on All Dev together. Oh, yeah. cool. Heck yeah. yeah. I love that. Absolutely. I don't know fool, but he looked funny. This place is haunted. Yo, this fuck. Shit, Did you see the that? Fuck? The curtains just blew like crazy. Wow, I know. That's crazy. I felt a big breeze, and then that happened. That was incredible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> totally haunted. Yo, I don't do ghosts, man. I don't do ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I Turn love air it. on this one, huh? Yeah, someone opened the back uh, fire exit, and uh, gotcha. that's it. That's yeah. all it is. I like that jacket, though. It looks like you were hanging out with the dude that comes in the corners all day. <laughs> <laughs> and you look like you and you oh, look shit. like uh, Ace Pet Ventura, <laughs> whatever. Ace Pet. Ventura. Yeah, you can stand up and eat off the floor the with fuck? your long ass neck, nigga. Yeah, man, you want an Ace Ventura's pets, bitch. <laughs> Whoa, I you got your back, David. Oh, you yeah, guys yeah. are joining forces over here. You got That's my nigga, bro. Hell Leroy. Yeah. Le- Leroy, right? Leon. 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 No, it's all right. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Ryan Sickler, here's your first time seeing David Lucas, right? Yeah, it is. Cold-blooded you're, assassin. You were you fucking great. You're Appreciate really it, bro. Great. Yeah, you were. Yeah. I don't even want to make fun of you. You were fucking good. Yeah. You can't, because I'm going to th- do it I ho- back. I could. I hope you get a therapist out of this, though. <laughs> I really do hope you get a fucking therapist. You really hood, though. I hear your voice. Like You hug around black people, bro. I, yeah, I grew up on Yeah, that nigga grew up on a two-piece and a biscuit. I yeah. can tell. <laughs> can you hear this? I can, yeah. hear, no, I I can hear the struggle in his voice. <laughs> 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 Y'all don't hear that shit? That nigga got poverty in his throat. Nigga. I love that. <laughs> that is true. Oh, that is I'm so struggling like your fucking waistline right now. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker look like Adam Sandler daddy. Nigga, get the fuck up out of here. You look daddy. like everything that grows under the bush. <laughs> <laughs> That's a white reference, ain't it? Actually- <laughs> Run that shit back, Turbo. Leave it to David to not know what a vegetable is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Trevor, shut your hang out with Justin Bieber head ass up out of here, nigga. This party is out of control. Hell yeah, Trevor. No, you were great, though. You were really great. Long neck ass. You, you, you can hold your breath for six minutes, man. <laughs> <laughs> David Lucas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I fucking love you, man. I love uh, you too, Tony. We're going to figure out a way to, uh, to see more of you for sure. Uh, <laughs> it's undeniable. You are an undeniable force. I and appreciate I love it. I love the fact that someone is seasoned and as powerful as yeah. you. Yeah. You're seizing the opportunity. This is one of these things I see and hear uh, a lot of murmurs of good things and bad things and this and that with the show. And one of the things that I notice is it's hard sometimes for comedians, obviously, uh, and this is coming from me, to control their ego, right? And there's things you could do that you feel like you're bigger than that and I'm better than that. Fuck that. And you're one of the guys that, in my mind, truly gets it. You yeah. see what the format of this show yeah. is. You come in. You take what's given to you. Exactly. You're getting shit out of it. You got to fucking you're, you get a manager out of it. You're probably going to get a therapist out of this shit. I just, I just don't understand, like, because it's like, bro, like, I gained, like, 2,000 followers in two weeks. Yep. So it's like, I don't understand, and it ain't no shot to yep. nobody, but why do you come up here not ready? Let me tell you what it really is. Like, and, what is and, that? And by the way, it's, it's not even the people that come up when they're not ready, because they can always get better, and that's a good thing yeah. as well. But what's interesting is the people that, to me, that's interesting, that don't want to do the show because they might think, right? Like, oh, I'm not going to sign up for that shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go try to do another open mic somewhere where right. it's more time. That's right. only 60 seconds. They don't realize you've been up here annihilating for nine minutes and 22 seconds, right, in yeah. front of a live audience in the main room, thousands of people watching there, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands to watch eventually on that camera back there. Exactly. And not only that, but the opportunities that you get from the audience, and not only that, but meeting comedians, these guys seeing exactly. you, Ryan Sickler doing a gig maybe eventually where somewhere where you are and you doing a guest spot on his show or something exactly. like that, the relationships and everything, and you're doing it right. And I just wanted to get that out there. That's yeah. David Lucas, everybody. Yeah. Hey, Instagram at David Lucas Fighting. I love it. Yeah. And make sure to check out the new, uh, hell yeah. Make sure to check out the new Beetlejuice movie that they're filming on the top of his head. It's incredible. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> Sandworms. <laughs> yeah, why'd you wait to? Man, what a bitch move. You wait till they get off stage? Okay. Yeah, I got him with some other ones. I get the last word. That's right. You guys think one more and then we'll get out of here right out of the bucket, huh? Oh, shit, William. Oh, Jesus. There you go. Very interesting. All right.
Your final comedian of the night goes by the name of Dave Sarah, everyone. Dave Sarah. I'm not seeing movement. Dave Sarah. Oh, she's a dry blend. Friend indeed. Nope. Oh, Black she's lizard. a gold digger. How about Cri- Kirsten Freed? Kirsten Freed. Whoa. From the audience side. I oh, love and a this. female. Some real audience members coming up here tonight. I think we know her, dude. Okay, one more time, good and loud, for your final comedian of the night, Kirsten Freed. Thanks, Tony. Uh, so good to be here. I don't know what I'm doing out here in the single world. I did not realize I was part of the catch and release program you guys are so good at. Right, ladies? Am I the only one that's out here swimming in the shallow end of the pool? I'm just looking for love. I need somebody to love, and I just keep getting thrown out. The last guy I dated, we break up, and he called me back. We break up, and he called me back. The last time he called me up, I'm like, if you think I'm going to come back to you, after five times of breaking up, I'll be right over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mistakes are being made. I haven't been single since I was 25 years old, and that wasn't just yesterday. It was not. I'm out here dating with the equivalent of a fourth grade education. <laughs> Meanwhile, you ladies out here dating with your PhDs. I'm left here picking up fourth graders emotionally. Thank you, guys. Hell yeah. Kirsten Freed. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Tony. How are you? Do we know you? Yeah, Brian we and met I. met at La Jolla last you, week. Oh, you were on the show? Nope. No, I oh, met you. That's what uh, it is. We met as I was coming out of the bathroom. Uh huh. Oh, taking a oh. shit. <laughs> okay. So hey. awkward. That's right. I was just one of the many men to uh, keep you single. <laughs> that's what. All right. Did you sign up a single white female? What I <laughs> Never mind. Oh, w- I welcome, know. welcome, welcome. So, uh, Kirsten, yeah. did you, what did you say about fourth graders there at the end? Oh, that, that's what I'm left picking up. It's actually third graders because they look up to fourth graders. Yeah. But why? Why? I don't get that. I don't know. I just find like I pick the wrong guys that continuously uh, I thought you down. were like a bus driver or something like that. Yeah. Uh, what do you do for work? Um, I work for Costco. Really? I do. Wow. Thank you. I'm a cashier. Yeah. Kirkland! Cashier at Costco. That's it's a, a good gig. Yeah, that's a big deal. Mm-hmm. That's a fucking big, big, big deal. It is. I have great skills. I have mad boxing skills. I will put everything in that box and make it fit. Whoa. Yo, I work at UPS. That's hell nice. <laughs> Damn, Kirsten, you seem like you have like a very sexual, like dirty mind on you, right? Am I correct about this? A little bit. Wow. So a little that- bit. <laughs> Whoa, who is this? I'm Cindy and I suck dick. Whoa! <laughs> Is that Cindy. a fucking, we have a oh, slutty yeah. puppet on this show? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Where have you been this whole time? <laughs> Sucking dick. Oh, my God. Cindy, I swear. Clean so your good. mouth up. Have you, has she ever met Leon before? Oh, hello. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Hey, That's Tony. A, yeah. Can your girlfriend do this? Oh my god. Wow, that was incredible. Okay. Wow. That's amazing. Hell yeah. All right. Mm. So uh, let's get back. This is, by the way, the, by the way, I'm, I will say, great job by the puppeteers tonight. Yeah. The type of chaos. The type of chaos that you just saw the last 30 seconds was a lot like their first appearance where they were just talking to one another continuously. And uh, this, is, this was good. This was, goes to show, like what I was talking about earlier with the comedians, the growth sometimes of the show. But the hey, pu- shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> Leah! I deserved that. I deserved that. So, uh, Kirsten, let's talk about it. Your whole set, you basically talked about how you're single, catch and release, this whole thing. So what do you think the problem is here? What do you think's going on? If you had to guess, what do you think it is? I can't be alone. 
Uh huh. What do yeah. you mean? Well, I am married for 14 years. You were married for 14 years? I was. Yeah. And then what happened? And then I Oh, got wait. A you let a rapist fuck you. Uh, we've seen this before. You can't rape the willing. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. That is the sluttiest puppet. I mean, this chick has a hand in her at all times. Constantly being fisted. Uh, so... Kirsten, you were married for 14 years. How did that end? Oh, gosh, you know, that was a great story I talk about on, on my set. Um, I found out he was wearing my lingerie as well. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, as myself, yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. Uh, let, me just, let me just acknowledge something real quick because Jeremiah is getting 24 laughs, and that's enough for him to ignore the format of the show. That's a, a magic number for him to uh, get a little silly. So... Uh, let's just keep it. Let's keep it on Kirsten for a second there. Uh, so let's talk about this. How did you find out that he was putting on your lingerie? It was over my children's precious children's memories on the VHS tape. Yeah, 1996, Wait. you guys. I literally can't hear your answer mm-hmm. because because Jeremiah on a podcast that is mostly consumed audio only is playing with fucking puppets I did the unbelievable un- I mean the unbelievable mistake of acknowledging that they did a good job tonight and uh, this is when Jeremiah just torches everything so this is very interesting we pulled a young lady out of the bu- well, I mean uh, we pulled a lady out of the bucket and <laughs> let's just let's keep it on her a little bit okay Jeremiah seriously Name's Gerald. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, 14 years, mm-hmm. and then, and then, no, Jer- Jeremiah, seriously, please, for the love of fucking God, please, pretty please with the fucking cherry on top. Remember the big, big gay calendar you want me to push? <laughs> See, it's like, you can't, uh, all right. Okay, so. Let's talk about this. Uh, uh, it's not a gay calendar, man. <laughs> it is. It's a gay calendar. Okay, so Kirsten, uh, so 14 years mm. you were with this guy, and you find out he's wearing your lingerie mm-hmm. and other stuff. So yeah. then what happens? So then I divorce him, but I take him to court because after 10 years of marriage, it's 50-50, right? Whoa, look at you. Did not want him to take any of my lingerie. Damn. With him. Did he at least get half your lingerie? Mm-hmm. All God. right. Um, so then how long ago was this? How long ago was the divorce? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. And for yeah. the last ten years you've been single? Mm-hmm. D- a lot of dating, though. A lot of dating. Whoa. Dude. And what tends to happen... <laughs> okay. Very good. What tends to happen? What tends to happen on these dates where you think it goes wrong? Let's um, try something here. Let's okay. try something fun. Okay. All right? Between me and you. Let's okay. say that we're on a date right now, okay? And we're having dinner. No, Jeremiah, you can't do that either. Let's try to just let's just try to get control. I'll let you can How about this? How about this? This is what my school teacher used to do for me. If 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 the slut stays away, we'll give you we'll give her her own minute after this interview. Okay? How's that? Is that fair? Would you guys like to see a minute from the slut puppet while we interview this? There you go. Seems like the crowd really wants that. So it's like, then everything will be good. Then we'll all get what we want. Okay. So let's say we're on a date right now. We're having dinner, right? And then I say something like, so, uh, you know, uh, what do you, uh, what do you want to do after this? Oh, yeah. That's, I think, my problem. I go right. No, 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 no. We're on a date right now. We're on a date. So, hey, what do you want to do after this? I'm all stuffed. Uh, We've had a couple (laughs) drinks. What do you you say we uh, go back to my place and hook up? Let's do it. Wow. Well, then that shouldn't be... That shouldn't be a problem then. There must be something that you say before that that (laughs) where where everything goes wrong. What do you think it is? What do you think you say on these dates that scares people? Can my 46 cats watch? (laughs) Yeah, maybe. (laughs) You talk that about was me. She takes I a paper bag off her you. head. Oh, I it out. Extended labia? Well, no, they wouldn't that, know about that yet. I don't know. What if she says like, something I'm about it? I'm normal. Like, I don't understand. Like, I'm a catch. I am definitely a catch. There, I but don't there get must it. be. Yeah, so well, maybe that's So the is her herpes is a catch, too. But I mean, like, people don't want that. So. Uh, mm, 
this is so awkward. No, it's not. It's not awkward at all. This is. Would anybody like to date me in this room? All right. Look, look right there. No, it's this right. guy right they've here. They've had a therapist and a manager out of that camera so far. There's Maybe also a guy man. in the corner who had AIDS. I'm looking There's an know. AIDS guy over there. Too. Yo, we got a desperate white single bitch on stage right now. <laughs> any takers? Come on. I, I like her idea. Is there any guy in this room that will go on a date with uh, with Kirsten with Kirsten Freed? What was that? He said what that checking account oh, looks like. I mean, she's got a scarf. What do you think? It's like <laughs> that's, a, that's, a pretty Kir- that's a Kirkland scarf. Yeah, that's that a Kirkland yeah. scarf right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does uh, what does the checking wait, wait, account whoa, look whoa, like? Here. I like this. Uh, this. Oh, I got to take that guy. Straight. Can we All see? Right, speed All right, come up here. You? Come up here, sir. Come. come on up here. This is a random audience member. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happens here. Kirsten trolling for dick. I can't think of a better way to uh, to continue with this episode than... Oh, shit. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. Look at this. You might be going on a date with Waluigi. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm a Wario, and I'm going to win. Jesus Christ. Oh this guy's going to shoot his red oh shell. Yeah. There you go. My God. Hello, what's your wow. name, sir? My name is... Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. This My is name is uh, Topher Mara. Wow. Uh, so, Kirsten, what do you think about this guy? He's a good-looking young man. He's got fucking... Uh, he looks completely stable. Uh, <laughs> what do you think, Kirsten? I don't think so. Whoa! <laughs> Wow, I've never seen anything like this. This is mind-boggling. Yo, this some cold shit. He volunteered his tribute, and then you turned down his tribute. This is mind-blowing. You said that you wanted a guy. What is it about this guy you don't like? Oh, my God, there's so many things. Whoa. Oh, my God. Is there anything you want to say to her? Is there anything you want to say to her in uh, revenge for this situation? I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you want to date a puppy? <laughs> wow. It's true. No. no? no? Man, now you're being picky. This is incredible. Uh, I mean, you would think that these people would settle for someone in their own fucking... These field. threes are acting like nines right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kirsten, I'm curious. I, like I you know. said, so much is wrong with this guy that you wouldn't go on a date with him. Not even a date? Mm-mm. What about no. a kiss? Will you kiss him? What? That's like beyond the date. Oh, yeah. Now we're... Now, I'm like I, I think we're finding face. out exactly why you're not getting anyone. Thank uh, you. All right. This makes sense, Kirsten. Completely. That is interesting. Um, Yo. Yeah. Will you kiss Leon? A- oh, would you kiss Leon? Yeah. Whoa! Here we fucking go. Oh, shit. Whoa. Look at that. Man, this bitch got thin white lips. (laughs) I love it. What an incredible moment. How about one more time for Waluigi being a good sport? Thank you. And one more time for Kirsten Freed, everyone. There goes Kirsten Freed. Hell yeah. They, look at this drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. Unbelievably complete. Very extremely detailed. Has Ryan Sickler. Has Trevor Wallace. I fucking love it. How about another hand for the great Trevor Wallace? He was here for the first time tonight. Check out his tour dates at trevorwallacecomedy.com. Check out his podcast, Stiff Socks. How about another big hand for the great Ryan Sickler, everybody? Honeydew. The one and the only. We had so much fun on it. You know when that comes out? Is that already out? A couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Be on the lookout for that episode. Couple I'm weeks I'm on that away. show, too, so check out so, my episode. Yeah, exactly. Another great episode. Subscribe. We're going to Dallas Jeremiah this weekend. Too. Sacramento, San Francisco, D.C., and then Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney. Every Monday at the Comedy Store, Michael Bisping and Louis J. Gomez next week. 
And the entire Kill Tony band is doing stand-up comedy at the San Diego Comedy Palace with William Montgomery, Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Jimenez. So many fun things going on down there. And don't forget about the brand new Kill Tony Big Gay Band calendar, everybody. It is a... It is a gay calendar. If you put it next to another calendar of its own kind, it will start trying to fuck it. Because it's a gay calendar. Uh, uh, how about a hand? Uh, how loud can this place get for the great Jeremiah Watkins, everybody? We got the slut puppet. We had Leon. We had so many highlights tonight, Gerald. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, thank you so much. Follow me on social media at Jeremiah Standup. And Mark Normand is my guest on uh, Jeremiah Wonders uh, this wow, week. Wow, so I love that. Chroma Chris over there on guitar batted a thousand tonight. He was absolutely on fire. Uh, Chroma, what do you think about tonight's episode? Well, like my friends, um, I think we all would like to give it a hand. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> Uh, also, uh, be sure to uh, follow me, uh, Drag and the Swamp Rats. We got a uh, tour coming up at the end of October. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. And how about one more time for the one and only, the legend killer, Joelberg Joel Jimenez, everybody. Wow. So much fun. Mostly sorry on social media. Catch him beating people up at 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, Eddie Bra. That's right. What else, Joel? I mean, shout out to Ludwig Drums, LA Speedweed every week. Uh, Tate Fletcher and Lacey Mackey from Caveman Coffee for keeping us pumped up every week. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. We the love you guys. amazing Nitro Cold Brew is my favorite thing in the world. Live audience, I had so much fun with you guys tonight. This was a fun episode. David Lucas, William Montgomery, the great Gary Clark Jr., so many cool people here. We love you guys. Thank you guys for coming out. Thanks a lot, guys. Ryan for the new Kill Tony book. Goodbye, live stream. We love you guys. Good night. Chicken, 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 chicken